Welcome to Extraordinary Wines. This is where I put you squarely in the know with one extraordinary wine. Now, before we get started, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the bell on your screen to get notified each time a new video is released so you can drink better and stay in the know. Today's find is fireworks in a bottle. Stay tuned to discover this extraordinary wine. The wine I'm sharing with you today is a non-vintage Toro Bravo Seco sparkling wine from Spain. Champagne and other fancy sparkling wines have their place, but they can be relatively expensive and after you pop the cork, there's pressure to finish the bottle because they're tough to reseal. No wonder good sparkling wine is often reserved for special occasions. But this bottle changes that, making a glass of bubbly far more accessible. It's very inexpensive, costing less than any Prosecco or any Spanish fizz I can think of, and yet it's delicious. More on that in a moment. It can be enjoyed on its own or with food, and it's sealed under screw cap, making it easy to just pour a glass and toast the moment. It's not fancy, but a bottle of this in the door of the fridge cues you up to celebrate any moment at all. Since this wine can facilitate that small but important shift in perspective, I'd say yes, this is truly an extraordinary wine. So let's taste in the glass Beautiful, shiny straw color and persistent bubbles are streaming up through the middle. Lovely. And it's shiny and there's, there's beautiful white gold inflections. Nice, clear, bright. Oh, on the nose it's lovely. What I like is it's pure. There's great purity of fruit expression. It's subtle, yes. It's not too fruit forward. And the expression is sort of Grapefruit, white grapefruit drizzled with honey. Love that. So slightly confected on the nose. Let's see how that expresses itself on the palate. Mmm. Lovely. It streams in great mouth-watering acidity, balancing that light kiss of sweetness beautifully. The flavors are again the grapefruit with a you know a hint or a drizzle of honey. And on the finish, there's even a little bit of stoniness, just a hint of sort of salty stony, and that leaves the palate seasoned, and it makes you keep one to sip. Let's have one more quick taste. Mm. The effervescence is lovely too because it lifts it, makes it refreshing, scrapes the palate clean. There's also a couple of other nuances here. I'm thinking I'm getting a little bit of a whisper of raw nut, um, and maybe a bit of apricot. Lovely, great purity, great balance, great texture, great value. So these are three easy snacks that go really well with this wine, starting with spiced olives. Now spiced olives work well because the spiciness offsets the sweetness in the wine. So you have a sweet and hot thing going on and it's fabulous. Or sausage. Now this is a spicy fatty chorizo and it's fantastic with this wine. It's also Spanish. It works wonders. Or for something dead easy, great kettle cooked potato chips. They're crispy, they're salty, they're easy, and they just work. Mm -hmm. 
So there you have it, a wine that's well worth your attention. The non-vintage Tor Bravo Secco is fireworks in a bottle for that everyday celebration. Have you tasted this wine? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe because I'm coming right back with more extraordinary wine so you can drink better and stay in the know.